A former Las Vegas entertainer undergoes a hip replacement at just 40 years old. Why more people are turning to surgery to handle arthritis. This is Fox 5 News at 5, local Las Vegas. May is Arthritis Awareness Month, and we normally think of the condition as affecting an older generation, but not so fast. More and more young people are going under the knife because of those aches and pains due to arthritis. Fox 5's Tiffany Murphy spoke with an orthopedic surgeon and one of his clients who you may recognize. Tiffany. Hey, good evening, ladies. Yeah, a 40-something-year-old getting a hip replacement. It's not something that normally all of us talk about or hear about very often, but it is becoming more common, and that is for a couple different reasons. That's, that's because the procedure is actually becoming less invasive and people are just sick of living in pain. Well, I, I think this is going to last you a long time. Good. Dr. Parminder yes, Kang at Desert yes. Orthopedic Center has performed hundreds of hip replacement surgeries on patients as young as 17 all the way into their 90s. I think we've gotten to a day and age in orthopedic surgery where we just don't write uh, a prescription for a wheelchair or a cane. We can actually uh, take care of the problem with, with excellent results. One of his success stories, strip performer Joelle Rigetti. For 17 years, she worked as a contortionist and magic assistant for Lance Burton. It's a job that's physically demanding and her body took a toll. Before the surgery, she was in excruciating pain. And then after the surgery, there was no pain. It was literally like night and day. Traditionally, a lot of people in their 40s don't want to, to believe that they have advanced arthritis of the hip. So they're putting up with the pain. King says that's because many are afraid of the surgery, but the hip replacement procedure typically takes less than an hour. Patients are walking the next morning in therapy and walking on their own in three weeks. We have implants and techniques nowadays where the uh, surgery um, takes less time. It's less invasive and the implants last 20 plus years. Joelle had surgery in January, left the hospital the next day, and like clockwork, three weeks later, was wearing high heels and performing as a share impersonator. She's pain-free now and even jokes about the three-inch scar on her hip. It was my first time putting a bikini on since my surgery, and I have a scar. And so I was about to get into this little wading pool, and this gentleman came over to me, and he goes, Wow, what happened to you? And I said, Shark bite. <laughs> You have to be able to laugh at yourself, right? So if you believe you're a candidate for hip replacement, Dr. King recommends asking your surgeon how many surgeries they've completed. He says the more they've done, the better they will be at putting in that implant and the less tissue damage that will occur during your surgery. He also says it's important to ask if they've had any kind of specialty training as well. Very interesting. Nice to get that done so they don't have to suffer with it for years and years. Honestly, and it really, again, is not just something that happens to 80-year-olds and 90-year-olds right. these days because we all are very active. We're playing sports mm -hmm. in high school. Those hits, even car accidents can cause this. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm a former athlete, and it's good to know I'm not alone because I have arthritis already in my knees, Ooh. and I thought, oh. you know, I thought, oh, I'm a little young for that, but it's not just me. Get yeah. that checked out, Christine. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Tiffany. Welcome.